Hey TVO kids, welcome back to the We Love Animals space. I'm Kara and we're hanging out with our friend Mallory from Soper Creek Wildlife and Bryce. Thanks for being here guys. No problem. Okay, so first of all, Bryce, I have a question for you. Can you tell which skunk is which and what are their names? So one's name's Joshua and one's name Edwin. Edwin, Josh and Edwin. Now which one is which? So this one's Edward, this one's Josh. Excellent. The one holding on. Oh, he's very, they're very cuddly. Now Mallory, um, where in Ontario can you find skunks? You can find them mainly in wooded areas, um, and they're all over the province. But something that's kind of cool about skunks is that they often don't build their own homes. They like to inhabit uh, homes of other animals that have been left vacant. Oh, wow, that's so cool. And you said something about the stripes as well. Yeah, so there's over 10 different species of skunks, and these guys are striped skunks. Okay. Um, and the stripes that you see on them here are unique to each skunk. So if we were to actually shave them down, you'd see that pattern on their skin as well. Uh, so kind of like how humans have fingerprints, these guys have their stripes. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's like, that's like their, their, their claws. Yes, they yeah. have sharp little claws and soft little feet. Oh, and we have a question from a TVO kid, too, on the phone. Amelia. Hi, Amelia. Hi. What's your question for Mallory about skunks? Um, why do skunks smell? Why do skunks smell? So why do they spray? Great question, Amelia. That is a great question. So actually, the reason that they spray is because that's a way that they defend themselves against predators. Mm. So when they're feeling threatened, uh, they will spray and they can hold up to about five or six sprays um, of that stinky perfume in their uh, um, in them to spray out to us to defend themselves. Uh, and if they spray everything out, then it takes them about nine days to build that back. So they usually don't wow. spray that much okay. because then it would leave them defenseless. And what should kids do if they see skunks? Uh, if you see a skunk in the wild, we would say never to approach a wild animal. You'd want to stay about a safe distance away from them. And in the case of skunks, that's about 10 feet because that's how far that spray will go. Wow, awesome. Well, thanks. Mallory and Bryce are going to stick around for one more animal. If you have any questions yeah, about porcupines, okay. call yep. in up after Odd Squad. Yep. Yep. Perfect. <laughs> the Space.